right before we jump into this video, if you want to take better photos in only 11 days, I created a free video series that you can sign up for right now at froknowsphoto.com slash 11 days. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com, and this is three shots or less, where my goal is to get the perfect exposure in three shots or less. Here we are in the hotel room and we've got window light behind me. We've got Todd right here sitting on the bed and my goal is to get Todd clapping to show motion blur in his hands. Now, what am I using this time? I've got the Canon EOS M5 with the 11 to 22 lens. Now, this camera has an EVF, which is an electronic viewfinder. And I saw a lot of people asking or saying in the comments that, well, they can get it right in just one shot if they pay attention to what the viewfinder shows them is the proper exposure. So why don't I dial this in as Todd claps his hands and use the EVF to get what the camera tells me is the right exposure. So here we go, it's at 6400 ISO. I'm going to change the aperture to 5.6, which is the max, and let's turn down the shutter speed. Now I'm at 1 200th of a second at 5.6. It's at 6400 ISO, and boom. So let's take a look and you can see that I froze his motion. Now an EVF is great. It's gonna show you the exposure based off of what it thinks is the proper exposure in whatever situation you're in, but it's not like I have a button that says EVF, go ahead and blur the hands. The EVF doesn't know any better, but you as a photographer do know better. So that's what I'm trying to explain with three shots or less, showing you how you can get the proper exposure for the situation and scenario that you're in, which in this case, we're trying to get the hands blurring. So now I only have two shots or left because I ruined it by looking at just the EVF. So now let's see what the settings are. They're 1 200th of a second, 5.6 at 6400 ISO. Now I know in order to get the hands clapped but allow for motion blur, I need a much slower shutter speed. So I'm gonna dial that down in next. So let me take a look through the EVF. Not that it's gonna give me any help here, but I'm just gonna go from 1 200th of a second to 1, let's say, 1 20th of a second. The EVF is telling me it's way overexposed, but I'm gonna take the photo anyway. Take a look. Yes, obviously it's extremely overexposed and there's motion blur. Now when I say it's overexposed, it's blown out. Todd looks like a ghost in this. So now I've got one shot to hopefully get it right and I'm at 6400 ISO. I'm gonna dial that down. Let's see, one stop. We go from 6400 to 3200. That's not gonna be enough. 3200 to 1600. I'm gonna go down to 800 ISO and hopefully this gives me the exposure and the effect that I'm looking for. So Todd, go ahead and clap. And let's take a look. Yep, as you can see, I have Todd basically frozen there, but his hands are blurring. Do you see what we did here? We built the exposure based off of the scenario that I wanted to get, which were blurry hands. Now this would come in handy, for example, I photographed a friend backstage twirling a drumstick. He was sharp, but at 1 30th of a second, the drumstick was spinning. So I just wanted to show you how you could build the exposure in three shots or less, even if you have an EVF, an electronic viewfinder. You have to ask yourself, what situation and scenario are you in that you're trying to capture because your meter and your EVF may not always be right for what you're shooting. So that is another three shots or less. If you have any comments or situations and scenarios you would like to see us take photos in, well go ahead and leave a comment down below and that is where I'll leave it. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya. Subscribe now. Watch this, watch this video.